The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden Mobile video and guys today What I'm gonna be showing you how to do is to make some profit here on the season star sets that were added into the game um, Guys if you're not familiar with the season with the season stars This is a pretty simple set to complete basically what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go into your sets You're gonna want to go over to weekly and then find season stars heroes Okay now the newest ones that they were added into the game on uh, Monday were the TJ Ward and then the Brandon Brooks now both of these ones are pretty good cards so you can imagine that the set collectibles that you need to complete them are somewhat expensive of course now the reality is that what we're trying to do is just make a profit so no matter how much these ones cost the actual cards that go into the set what we want to do is make it so that the set is going to be valuable enough for us to actually complete so what I'm going to show you guys here is that these are actually somewhat profitable to complete uh, especially if you're doing them somewhat quickly so first of all let's take a look at the cards that go into it um, again obviously guys the the ones that you're going to want to take a look at here the elite ones you've got the Brian Robeson here Vance McDonald Demarius Randall and Jeremy Hill so I'm just going to quickly go through here guys I'm going to go on to the auction house I'm going to show you guys what these cards are currently selling for so uh, let's do a, a new search on Brian Robeson here and uh, looks like the cheapest one right now, 100, 110,000 right now for Brian Robeson. Okay, so uh, that's going to give us 110k. Now, let's go on to the next one. The next one was uh, Demarius Randall. So let's uh, let's search for Rand. Okay, so the cheapest Demarius Randall is 130,000 right now. So that's 240,000 total between those two. Um, and then we'll go over to Jeremy Hill. Now, Jeremy Hill is not going to be too expensive. Let's see here. Uh, 110. Wow, one sold for 25K. Somebody messed up there. So, 110 there. So, uh, what does that put us at? Um, I'm losing track here, actually. But uh, somewhere in the mid 300,000s, okay? And then uh, the final one that we're going to want to see here is, let's see here, uh, Vance McDonald. So, we'll type in Vance. Now, Vance McDonald should be the cheapest one of the bunch. Um, I saw him earlier going for about 70,000, so you should be able to find something around that anyway. So right there, 77,000 looks like it's the cheapest one up right now. Obviously, guys, if you sit and wait and you play the waiting game uh, effectively and you look for the cards, get them at a decent price, you're obviously going to be able to uh, do this a little bit cheaper than even what I'm showing you. Uh, but basically, as far as numbers go, we're basically looking at about 400,000, okay? So 400,000 coins to complete this set. Now, let's go over and let's take a look. Uh, let's change this back to Season Stars once again. Uh, where the hell is season stars? There it is. Okay. So now let's take a look and see what the set rewards will get us. So uh, obviously we're looking for Brandon Brooks and Brandon Brooks is going to give us, let's see here. The cheapest one up right now is 550,000 at uh, 95 overall. So that means obviously guys 550,000 and we saw it was going to cost us, you know, right around 400,000 to complete. So think about that for one second. 550,000 minus 400,000, that's gonna give us about 150,000 coins profit. Now, we are going to lose 10% on our auction when we actually sell this Brandon Brooks, but if we make if we sell him for 550,000 and it only costs us 400,000 to make it, think about that for one second. It's only gonna cost us, what, uh, 55,000 or so of that. So we're still gonna actually make about 50,000 coins in profit just to buy the cards off the auction house for the current price that they're up at and then sell the card for the current price that it's up at. So, I mean, it's honestly a very, very easy way to make coins. Um, it's not difficult. Like I said, you can go on here and snipe the, the elite players as well and end up getting actually some really good returns on them. That's another thing you can consider doing as well, guys. There's the same thing with the golds. You can take the gold players and you can turn them into elites with those sets. And uh, there are definitely times where you can go on and get some of those gold uh, season star players, the rare ones, and you can make some serious profit if you're able to get those at a, even a decent rate. So uh, if you guys didn't see my video earlier today, I actually uploaded it um, and I showed you guys some of the things that you can pull just out of doing those elite player packs uh, from the season stars and you can make a ton of coins on those. Now, 
I talked about Brandon Brooks, right? I, I mentioned that he is going for 550,000, okay? Now, he's not the only one that we're looking at. We also want to look at TJ Ward. So, TJ Ward, right now, 715,000 is the cheapest one. Remember, it's going to cost us about 400,000. Now, obviously, I didn't mention that you are going to need those Season Star banners. So, yes, you will have needed to open up packs of Season Stars. Now, if you're somebody that's going to be actually in this game and, you know, continually opening up packs and trying to improve your team, chances are you've opened enough of the Season Stars packs that you're actually going to have enough Season Stars banners to complete these sets. It's really not too difficult because if you actually go back and, and take a look at the set, guys, um, it only it doesn't even cost you that much to actually complete them as far as like the, um, the uh, actual Season Stars go. How many does it take? Six. Okay, it takes six. Now, I believe you get like two or three per pack. I'm going to go in right now and look because I'm as I'm recording this, they, they, those packs are currently still in the game. Um, so yeah, you get, it says two season stars items. I believe that that means that it's going to be, uh, either a player or a season stars bad, uh, banner. Uh, so chances are that you're probably going to get enough banners if you open up four packs probably to complete one of these sets. So again, 715,000 for Brian or uh, for Brian Dawkins. I almost call him Brian Dawkins for TJ Ward. Think about that. That's like 300,000 coins profit, and yeah, you're going to lose 70k on the auction house, but you're still profiting like 230k, 240k off of that. That is crazy profit just by doing it one time. You guys can make insane profit by doing this, guys, especially if you're sitting there and sniping the cards. Um, a couple other ones that I personally identified, obviously the new ones are the ones that you're really going to want to do. Um, you're going to want to go in there each week. This isn't just for this one week. Continuing on, this is probably going to be the trend. So make sure that you stay on top of this, guys. But I've also paid attention to some other ones here, um, and, and I'll give you guys kind of an example of those. Let me, uh, let me just ex uh, examine here. Try and find, I think Zach Ertz was going for um, a pretty decent amount. No, actually, I take that back. It looks like he went for 250K. I might have just looked at Zach Ertz at the time when he was going for uh, a pretty expensive price. So I might have been off on that one, unfortunately. I think I thought I, that, that I saw him going for about 350K. So uh, yeah, it looks like there were... If, if you could get them at, if, if you could sell them at 350k, you could make a profit on that set. Um, let's see here. There is one more that I wanted to show you guys here. Uh, yeah, okay. So this one is from this past week. Let's take a look at these. And guys, obviously the prices do change on these pretty quickly. So right now, Latavius Murray is going for 700,000 coins. Now, I will tell you guys, this is probably not the price that you're going to normally see him at. He's probably going to be closer to 400,000. So this must mean that just somebody saw that none of them were up and somebody put it up for a super high price. Like I said, I think I would see it more around like 370 to 400,000 coins for Latavius Murray. And then uh, the other one that's in that set or that week is Alec Ogletree. Now, Alec Ogletree is going to go for about 480000 That's about right. Um, so, you know, somewhere around that range. He might be a little bit cheaper than that as well. You might be able to find him for like 450000 So, either way, we're looking at about 425 uh, or about 400000 coins. Let's call it just to, to call it an, an even number, okay? And then uh, what we're going to want to do again is we're going to want to go back here and take a look at the cards that go into that set. Um, the cards that go into that set are, uh, let's see here. We're going to find the 90s and 91s overall, and I'm just fat fingering like crazy right now. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the Mario Addison, because that's the that's going to be one of the ones that we have to get. Um, okay, so Mario Addison right now, let's see if we can find him for cheap. So he's up for 100k. Boom. Okay, never mind. That's a die. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. 95k. That might be the cheapest one. I'm going to change this because I... Don't like that a die is showing up as well okay so let's see here and obviously guys there are better ways to do this you can search through um by lowering the number and that might be what i end up having to do here so let's change it here let's change this to ninety thousand. and you guys are watching me do this live without really any cuts so right here we got a 90 we got a sixty-five thousand coin um card i'm actually going to purchase this one because this is a really good price and i'm probably just going to do this set and show you guys how how easy this is to do so i'm going to go ahead and buy this um, and then, uh, let's see here. And I actually did have, I, I forget which one I, I think I pulled Cameron Meredith, if I remember correctly, in my video. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. So, uh, this one here is going for 83000 right now. So, uh, right now, you know, like I said, very, very cheap prices on these things. Um, 
Now, let's take a look at Addison just one more time here, and I gotta find which one was the cheapest. Okay, so 85, 85, somewhere in that range for those two cards. Just roughly speaking, anyway. Okay, so after Cameron Meredith, the next one that we need is actually Spencer Long. So let's go on here and see if we can find him. I saw him going for about 70k earlier, and there he is at, again at 70k. So let's go ahead and pick him up. Spencer Long for 70k, not bad. And then, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the uh, Calhoun. So let's see if we can get him to run around 60k. There we go, 60k for him as well. So uh, total price that we paid for those cards was really not very expensive. Like I said, I mean, I got that one for what, 65k, the Addison. Uh, Cameron Meredith wasn't too expensive. He was like 90k or so, if I remember correctly. Um, so we're at like what, 150k plus 70, 220 plus. So we're at like 280k or so um, if you were to go on here and actually purchase the cards. And like I showed you guys, the Alec Ogletree was going for ridiculously expensive. The Latavius Murray was going for ridiculously expensive. I mean, it's really not all that difficult to do this, guys. If you have coins, if you just have, you know, even a million coins, which I know is a lot, but go on and buy some coins. Like, get the coins into your account because you can flip these things around really, really easily and make a ton of coins on them. Um, so let's see here if we can, um, let's remove that real quick. Let's uh, search for Murray again. And we'll see if uh, another one popped up since we started the video. Nope, he's still up for 699k, um, which, you know, I could definitely go ahead and put up. Um, or I could do the. Uh, I could have done the the Murray set and tried to put him up for that price, but I don't think he would sell for anywhere around that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go on here and I'm going to sell Alec Ogletree. I'm going to put him onto the auction house for. I'm going to do 440,000 because that's going to be a pretty big drop from the 479,000, but that's still going to give us a huge profit. I mean, you guys saw, like I said, it, it costs us less than 300k to complete this set, including the, the stars badges, obviously. Uh, but once we were able to do that, we're able to make like 100,000 coins, even if you consider the fact that we're going to be losing coins on the auction. I mean, we're still talking almost 100,000 coin profit by completing this set, and it's really just that simple, guys. Just stay on top of this stuff. You have to watch these sets and see which ones are, um, you know, going for a lot, because that's that's honestly the move, guys. It really is. So um, we're going to go on here, and we're going to go ahead and complete this set right now. Let's go ahead and go to the Alec Ogletree. Let's add all the stuff that we need for him, and let's claim the reward. 95 Alec Ogletree. We'll open him up, and we're going to throw him right out of the auction house, like I said, for about 440000 I don't expect him to sell immediately, but I do expect that he is going to sell for around that price. He's certainly not going to sell for an amount that would lose us coins. That's, I think, the point. Um, so what I actually like to do is put it up for three or four thirty nine nine ninety nine. I actually do like to do nine ninety eight, almost like I'm putting him in a supermarket because it just makes him look that much more appetizing to the people that are looking at the at the auction house. So there you have it, guys. Four hundred and forty k. Post it, and there you have it, guys. Um, I again, I have a whole bunch of those other elite ones at the bottom, so I am probably going to be finishing these sets and uh, trying to make some profit on these things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you learned something. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video and also make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new. Guys, this is a, an easy way to make a lot of coins. There are a, a, other ways as well with the season stars. These things can make you a ton of coins if you just are a little bit patient. If you just go on there and purchase the cards at the right prices, don't overbuy them. Make sure that you look and uh, stay on top of it. If you're looking for a specific one and it's overpriced, wait on it, okay? Wait on it and then wait till the price drops to it, uh, an amount that's reasonable for you and then pounce on it and you're going to be able to make a bunch of coins. So again, guys, thanks so much. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys make a ton of coins and I will talk to you guys again soon.